Hey there, there's something very exciting. We got the active campaign integration at chatbotshop.net, which takes care of the Zapier integration, which you no longer need right now. So that's pretty cool. We just added it to the mix of scripts and I'm going to show you how it works. These are the things that you'll need when you use it. You need your Minjet API key, your active campaign API key, your personal active campaign API URL. I'm going to show you where you can get those in a second. You need, you need your active campaign list ID to where you're going to subscribe your users to. And you have to set them up and make them active or unsubscribed, whatever you want. If you want to subscribe them manually or only do that if they perform some sort of action, you can just select two. Otherwise you'll select one active. You need your field variables for the email at least. Otherwise there is no use for an active campaign. So make sure you retrieve the email address. You can get their phone number and their business name. If you don't include the last two phone number or business name, it will just be blank and if you forget to ask the email address and pass it on it will just um, stop the script so nothing will happen and of course you'll need your chatbot shop secret key which makes this all work so what do you need you have to use this URL right here I'm going to show you where in a second then you can get your active campaign API URL and key and that is over here. Let me see if I can get that for you. Hold on just a second. It is over here. Let me check. Yep, here it is. This is the active campaign um website and where you have to go is here into settings you click it and then you have this developer right here and if you click that you will get your api access url enter api key over here so once you got those you just copy them or go back to this page when you need them and that's how that works so back to the script at chatbotshop.net this is where it's explained with a single picture again and here is how you can get your mini chat api key you just go to settings and then you get here into bot settings and here is a link which is api and here is your API key. So that's all pretty simple. And what you're going to do is you move down here. And these are the fields you have to fill in. It's just a couple of them. So you put in your ManyChat API key, your active campaign API URL, and your active campaign API key. And right here, your list ID, I only have one list because this is a trial and you can find it right here. I might actually be able to show you that as well. Hold on. I think I can do that. Let me check. And here it is. The list ID you can find here. You go to list and then this is my test list. And if you click that, hide these tips. And I'm going to click that. And why is there nothing? Okay, well, I actually am hiding my address bar right here. But if you go way up there where I'm pointing with my mouse, you'll get this beautiful address bar 
link and in the link you can see or in the um, query string you can see this list id it's marked in yellow here and for me it's one so it's this one if you have a lot of lists it's probably a higher number most likely indeed then you select if your new contact is active or unsubscribed for most of you it's like active and here you fill in your chatbots shop.net secret key if you go down here you can see the json which is automatically generated and there's these five uh, fields the first five which are marked within brackets or what is it yeah it's a bracket sort of and these have to be filled in inside many chat which i will show you in a second as well so let's check out where we're going to go next let me get this screen where is my many chat it is over here right now hold on gonna have to check it and this is it there we go so this is some kind of flow i created just for the purpose of this demo it's not asking for any information because i already have all my information stored but what you usually do is you make your flow and in this flow you will ask your member for at least their email address which you're going to transport into the into the uh, dynamic field right here so suppose you did all that and then eventually you come to an action or a dynamic content a section in the message node each of these works i tested both of them but right now i'll just stay within this one so let me see what i can do right here for this hold on and okie dokie i'm going to blur this out for a second so i can show you this okay so in this purple block we get this one the request url you just put in the url that is right here at the top of this screen the one that was marked in yellow let's go up again this one you grab that one you post it right here in the top section of this you put it in there then you go to the body section and this is where i now blurred the api keys for the bigger part of it so you can't copy them and this is where you paste the json code you just generated in chatbotshop.net it's all pretty self-explanatory and then these five fields i mentioned earlier these are the ones you are going to replace so page id user id and so on and these you can grab from this one at a variable and you can see these are all there so you don't have to type them out or write them out or whatever and um, the business you i don't have anything there which is fine but if your user filled in some kind of business name you'll just grab the variable and you just click it and you'll put it there make sure it's not within these double quotes just a single variable so that's actually it you only have to replace these five or at least three the page id the user id and the email and then you click save 
and when you did that we can see what's going to happen if we press preview and I will show you that in a second but there's something else which is pretty interesting let me go check that first it's over here still yep if I go to my contacts it's over there you will see if it's actually loading I have no contacts okay this is actually the screen I have no contacts at this point which is correct because well I don't and when I go back to this screen right now and I go to messenger you can see my messenger screen right there and like I said I already have all this data populated so I only created this to test this flow so I will say yeah cool let's go and I'm cool I'm going I have all that ready why waste any time no results that was pretty weird because uh, let me think about that okay I already know why this is actually good to know as well this is the fallback which you can see right here and I know why it's there it's because I changed my API key before I showed you this so I will check that out for a second I'm going to put you on some other screen so you can have a look at this one while I take a quick peek at why mine ain't right and that would be pretty silly if I don't see it that's pretty weird so this is playing games with me because it worked when I tried it a couple of seconds ago so now I am pretty much annoyed I'm going to try the other one because I tried that as well so it would be shitty if that won't work either try the action let's see what that gives me try action it's not giving me uh, let me check okay got it and now let's check if we actually got this new member in here dialog flow and it's not the one of course I need something else contact can refresh and now I am here so I'm gonna find out why the other one isn't working anymore I might have changed an API section or something like that um, either way this one the action is supposed to be exactly the same but as you can see I now am a member of my own um, active campaign I can click my name and there you see this is it it's my um, none is my business name this is my fake telephone number this is some email I used and as you can see all the tags that are um, well tagged to my many chat account many chat name username are also all put here so if you have like a lot of tags in your user they will all show up here which is a pretty neat feature so I think this marks up this little tutorial. If you have any questions, uh, let me know and I'll answer them as good as I can. Bye bye.